is. Hey, boss. Ah. <laughs> Hi. Well, well, well. If it isn't Xi'an. You sure grown up since the last time I saw you. You were still in high school, right? Yes. Sorry I haven't kept in touch. I guess you moved over here, huh? Yeah, there's no stopping the redevelopment around here. I figured I'd at least try to keep the inside looking the same, though. Right. It wouldn't be Moby Dick's if it was any other way. Well, have a seat. You want the usual? Please. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of hungry, too. You got it. So, are you off today? I wish. No, unfortunately, I'm working. I've got business at the second division. Ah, right. You're with Vector now. Your brother was telling me about that. What? Jin comes here? Sure, all the time. Wait, you haven't seen him yet? You've come this far. You ought to at least try paying him a visit. Mm, not you, too. You know I have a hard time dealing with my brother. Well, speak of the devil. Huh? Wow! Oh, just look at this place. Chaos! It's perfect! It feels just like the Pequot, doesn't it? Uh. Xion. What are you two doing here? Well, we were starving, so... So, we ended up here. So, you all know each other? Y yeah kinda Kinda? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just a little rattled. Rattled? About what? Xi'an's just got family matters on her mind today, right? <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. My apologies for being late. I'm glad you could make it. Oh, <laughs> Shelly, Mary, look at you. You're all grown up. Long time no see, Helmer. Mary, show some respect. <laughs> it's all right. It makes me feel like I've got a couple of daughters. Tell me, Mary, are you still working on your act? Yeah. Right now, we're kind of busy, but pretty soon, I'm going to be the best comedian in this star cluster. Even if my sister won't be my partner. You know, I've been thinking about recruiting the little master. That sounds great. I think he'd be perfect. Right. I'm afraid I don't have good news. There's been some disturbing activity, and not just from the remnants of you, Tick. Yes. Under the circumstances, the peace treaty was our only choice 14 years ago. But it was hardly a unanimous decision. Now, we're starting to see the strain from that within the Federation. According to Captain Roman's report, certain factions have begun showing signs of armed rebellion. The Second Milsian government is on full alert. I'd like all of you at the Foundation to be appropriately cautious as well. After all, with the Zohar emulators and the 100 series prototype in your possession, you've become the focus of a great deal of attention. 
Master Guinan, I've brought Momo. The 100 series prototype. Of course. Send her in. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the 100 series observational unit prototype. Designation, Momo. The preliminary examination of my internal data is now complete. A 100 series realian. You're the enhanced memory model, aren't you? Nice to meet you. She does look more like her than the mass-produced ones do. <clears throat> yes. She's just like Dr. Mizrahi's late daughter. Hmm. The Hand of Fate is a mystery. Thank you, Momo, for overcoming so much in order to come here. Soon you will undergo analysis at the UMN Control Center. We intend to do everything in our power to support the process. Please, just try to relax and fulfill your duty. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your concern. Negredo. I have something I need for you to do. You want reconnaissance, don't you? Sorry. No need to apologize. It is my family's responsibility. sound like you're doing well, unfortunately. And you're glib as ever! What's wrong? Are you lonely, little baby? Oh, I'm just doing a little information gathering. Of course, it still isn't too late for us to come to terms. Oh, so now it's peace talks, huh? Didn't McCartney say that too? Ebony and Ivory live together in perfect harmony. <laughs> But I know your true form. Executioner. I shed that skin long ago. Is that so? You sure you're not just hanging around Rubido because you're waiting for the chance to carry out your mission? I'll be borrowing Rubido soon. I don't need you, though. Still, I look forward to your efforts nonetheless. Wait. No! Scary. You've always been two-faced, you know. Offering life in the one hand and delivering death in the other. Too bad I can't die. <laughs> so, he really intends to link with Udu no matter what. Still, what does he want with Rubido? Rocks! <laughs> I get it. So this is where your curry comes from. <laughs> Figured it out, huh? By the way, how's Momo? Is she done already? They told us the main examination will start tomorrow. There don't seem to be any problems. Yeah, so since we had some free time, we thought we'd visit the city. I see. What about you? Did you turn over Cosmos already? Uh, yeah, I had.
had Alan take over the process. It might take some time, though, depending on what else crops up. <clears throat> Did something happen over there? You don't look very happy. <sighs> you know how it is. We've been together for a long time, so... Saying goodbye is... Well, you know. Hmm. That tough, huh? Well... Yeah. Think about it. What if you had to give up your precious Kaleidoscope? How would that feel? Oh, that would be tough. My wallet and my heart would both grieve. Told you. Please, do you really have to compare Cosmos to Junior's collection? <laughs> Good afternoon, boss. Hey, welcome back. What a coincidence. Just now, Shen was... You're praying? Your chest? You're playing the drums? Man, I give up. What are you trying to say, Xion? Not so loud. <gasps> Xion? And a voice I've heard somewhere before. Oh, hi. Long time no see. Jin. Jin Uzuki. Pleased to meet you. The pleasure's mine. So, you're both with Xion. Tell me, has my foolish sister been causing you trouble? Foolish? Quite the opposite. You know, we're actually very much in her debt. Truly. You know, you don't have to be nice just because she's here. Jin! It appears I'm not very welcome here, am I? Oh, come on. I didn't say that. I just... Uh, hey boss. I'll have what they're having, please. Extra spicy. Hey, listen to me when I'm talking to you. I am listening. So, what were you saying? Get it. It's just not worth it. You know, you could have called me. I would have come to meet you. So, how long are you here anyway? I... I was busy. The only reason I'm here is because I got a sudden assignment. I have to spend tonight getting ready for the return trip. Huh? Hey, I thought you said... Ow! Uh, <laughs> never mind. It's nothing, really. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hey, Chief. How's it going? Listen, about Cosmos, it looks like the tertiary equipment code's gonna take a little while. Probably about two or three days at least, I'd say. So I guess we could just take it easy for a while, okay? Uh, Chief? Is something wrong? You look kind of upset. Uh, I'm guessing this isn't a practical joke. What? Nothing. Your timing is so perfect. Thank you. Huh? 
Wait, Chief! I see. So, you'll be taking it easy for a while, hmm? Okay, fine. I'll come back home, alright? Will that satisfy you? Oh, right. Would the two of you like to come visit? It's not far from here. Well, what do you think? I don't know. It's a family reunion. We'd probably just be in the way. Wouldn't we? Uh, <laughs> of course, uh, we could also take you up on your offer, just for a little while.